Jess here and welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but pretty way. Today we're going to make a butterfly sleeve dress and because it's a butterfly sleeve design so it would work the best with the soft fabric like chiffon, silk or satin. And just so you know, I make my own patterns, so all the measurements in the tutorials are based on my body size. However, at each step where I share my measurements, I also share the ways I got them, so you can adjust on your body size to make your own patterns. And before we start making this tutorial, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss my upcoming DIYs. And let's get started! I used two and a half meters of thick chip from fabric for this DIY. The first step is making the pattern for the top of the dress. To make the back pattern, I cut a rectangle with 38 cm length, which is the length from the shoulder to under my breast and above my belly button, and 45 cm width, which is a half of my bust side plus 4 cm. I draw a straight line in the middle of the rectangle to divide it into two equal parts. At the top of this line, I mark at two sides 9cm, which is a half of the width of my neck minus 1cm for seam allowance. So the width between two marks will be the width of my neck minus 2 cm for seam allowance. After that, I mark down at 3 cm on the straight line, then draw a curved line to connect it to two marks I just made before that, so I will have the next line of the back pattern. From two marks on the width line, I mark at two sides 10 cm, so the width between two new marks will be 40 cm, which is the width between two shoulders, plus two cm for seam allowance. From the top of the length line, I mark down at 20 cm, which is the width from the shoulder to over the ambit. Then drawing a curved line from this mark to the mask on the width line to create a sleeve line for the back pattern. From the top of the middle straight line, I mark down at 20 cm, which is the width from the neck to the middle of two breasts. It's also the deep of the v-neck of the dress that you want. Then I draw a line to connect this mark to the mask on the neck. It will cut the other width line at the end of the back pattern. After cutting by the drawing lines outside, you will have the back pattern of the dress. To make the front pattern, I move down the shoulder line of the back pattern 2 cm, then redrawing the neckline, and we will have the front pattern after cutting. To make the sleeve pattern, I draw a circle with the diameter of 76 cm, which is two times the width of the top pattern. I draw a straight line in the middle to divide the circle into two equal parts first. Then from the top cutting point picking the circle and the straight line, I mark up at 22 cm, which is the length of the sleeve that I want. From the lower cutting point, I mark down at 8 cm, which is the length of the sleeve under the ambic. I mark at the middle between two marks, then use it at the center to draw another circle. After cutting, I draw a curved line at the end of the sleeve, and I finish the sleeve pattern. Apply on the patterns on the fabric and draw along. You will need one piece for the back pattern, two pieces for the front pattern, and two pieces for the sleeve pattern. After cutting, I connect the back pattern to two pieces of the front pattern at the shoulder foot, then connecting them together at the side lines later.
to make the next of the dress, I cut along the tangle with 3 cm width and around 114 cm length, which is 3 times the length of the top pattern. I connect one length line of the rectangle to the neck and make the first seam. After that, I fold the other length line of the rectangle inside 1 cm foot, then keep folding it over the first seam, then make the second seam. After that, I connect two ends of the front pattern where they gap each other together. Moving to the sleeve, I fold the end fabric at the bigger circle inside two times and sew to finish it. After that, I draw a straight line from the edge of the shoulder to the end of the top of the dress, then cutting. Now, I connect the sleeve to the cutting line I just made before it. I connect the sleeve to the inside part of the top foot. Then, I connect the outside part to them later. So, the sleeve will be in the middle of two parts. And we will finish the top of the dress after sewing. Moving to the bottom of the dress, I fold the width to the length of the fabric foot. Then I measure and mark where it is 42 cm, which is the width of the top of the dress that I just checked before. From this mark, I draw a circle line from the top of the folding fabric. From this mark, I also match down 35 cm, which is the width of the bottom part that I want, minus the width of the ruffle part. Then, I draw another circle line from the top of the folding fabric to this mark. After cutting, I connect two side lines together and sewing. I measure the width of the ending circle line foot. Then I cut a rectangle with 15 cm length and two times the width of the ending circle I just checked before that. I connect two land lines of the rectangle together to have a circle fabric foot. Then add one width line, 
I folded in fabric inside two times and sewed to finish it. After that, I make a loose seam at the other width line to create the gathering fabric there later. Make sure the final width of the gathering fabric should be the same with the width at the ending circle line, so you can connect them together later. Now I'm connecting the top and the bottom of the dress together at the waist. After fixing them together by the pins, I draw a line at 2 cm under the end of the fabric line, then sewing. I use an elastic band with 1cm width, so I measure the width of the fabric hole I should make to make sure the elastic band can go through it later. Therefore, don't forget to keep a small unsold space when sewing. I cut a 64cm elastic band which is the same size as my waist size to put through the fabric hole. Then close the hole after sewing two ends of the elastic band together. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This thread is so flattering on the sleeve. Such a cute dress. I hope you like it and check it out. See you next week.